Hey everyone, here is Max. I'm at Moose Labor and I promised you a video in English, so here it is. For this video, I have Benedict from Harley Benton, the face of Harley Benton, joining me today. Hey everybody! So, yes, say hi to Benedict. And we've got five Harley Benton guitars here at the event. And my question to you was, you picked yeah, all of those, right? Handpicked, I should say, <laughs> handpicked. Um, let's go maybe one by one and tell, yeah. tell, tell us why. Okay, let's start right here. Here we have, of course, the Fusion 2 in a gorgeous color. And I mean, for the modern player, I think it's the perfect guitar because you got a Wilkinson tram, two humbuckers, so this is the HH version. You can split them. This one is inspired by some other guitar of the guy I probably know. Might be. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we got ourselves some some cool locking locking tuners as well. Can, can we get it on a close up? And of course, another cool feature are the stainless steel frets. And yeah, I think it's a perfect, the perfect all around X. If you kind of like have to do a lot of different things. That one will get the job done. But we have another Fusion 2 yeah. right here, which is HSH. Exactly. With 24 frets. Yeah. You know what I've noticed? Uh, I have, in Berlin at home, I have this exact model and the same one over the Floyd Rose. Mm -hmm. And I noticed they're different guitars. <laughs> Are these different guitars? Kind of, in a way. I mean, they're both like, so Paley is the wood. Body, body wood, of course. It's kind of mahogany kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. We got the, the main difference, of course, is the all mahogany roasted flame baked maple neck, which is that one. Which looks very tasty to me. <laughs> and it, it does feel nice. I like it. It's a, it's great. I and checked both of these, mm -hmm. and I really feel nice with this one. Yeah. But I don't get that one. Somehow, this one feels right, and I don't feel very com comfortable with that, that one. But that, you know why? That one. That, that's just me. I know why. Tell me. Tell me. Because you're a different person than me. Because for me, it's like the opposite. It's like I bond with that, but I didn't quite bond with that so much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? That's how it works. I mean, like for instance, for me personally, I having trouble with like guitars with three pickups. I see. Because my picking hand is always like, right, right there where the middle pickup is, yep. and to not to hit it, I have to like. I grew it down exactly. and then I know I got that's volume totally issues too, uh, and yeah absolutely absolutely um, yeah the same for the same reason uh, for the last I don't know seven years all my guitars that I used for the geeks uh, only had two pickups but I, I fi I'm fine with this I'm, I kind of I got used to three pickups and mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't really bother me much but other than that other than the roasted neck three pickups twenty four frets twenty four frets they are kind of the same, yeah, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. All Absolutely. right, what else do we have? Then, let's go there. Yep. Uh, actually, I asked you to put that one in the box, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> You, you kind of did, and I uh, said, sure, why not, because it's a cool guitar. Yeah, I played one of these at TSR, and I was like, whoa, yep. uh, I would run. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the SC550 Deluxe in Paradise Flame, and yeah, it looks cool and of course is a kind of like a tribute to a certain famous guitar player you might have heard about. He wears some funky hats or one funky hat. <laughs> and it does the classic thing. It's like a rock and roll machine and I suggest let's hear it. Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. There has to be a Here, there it is. There we go. You want or uh you, you do okay. that. <laughs> so which amp would you like to try? I mean first. The the gain the, high gainy amp. Okay, that would be Rasif Hammerhead, uh, which if you watch my channel, you know what Rasif is because I have a plenty of Rasif products reviewed on my channel. But I never had that amp before, so let me. Ah, oh, it's already on. Okay, then I'm just tune in. Okay, uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> Pick up. 
That and sounds really fat, right? It does sound fat, but transparent, and I think that's pretty cool because a lot of times you get like neck pickups which sound like muddy, muddy, right? <laughs> like that. If I would have yeah. turned it down, but it's like still transparent. <laughs> to re recall that riff. I never played it actually. Wait uh, a sec, you cannot do that on my channel. <laughs> Maybe you will get banned for that worldwide. Um, and Wait, did you play anything copyrighted? Right? No, not at all. No, I didn't. I changed the important parts. Neck pickup. <laughs> So you can actually play chords with a neck pickup and play fat lead lines, which is something I really like. And middle position, all Zeppelin-esque goodness. <laughs> does sound like a nice balance of transparency, transparency, and fatness. Yeah, it does. You want to give it a try? Absolutely, why not? Another amp, maybe? Well, then, yeah, let's, let's just go with, with the same, the same one. Oh, Perfect. great. To it, yeah. right? Yeah, a lot. All right. Well, that's that's one of the reasons why I I asked you to put this one in the box because <laughs> uh, I I've played it before, and I really like it. I should probably get one sooner or later. Um, well, I'll give you a link to this one in the description below, of course. Um, <laughs> Next, this one I like a lot as well. I like a lot as well. Um, it's kind of similar, but it isn't. <laughs> um, I've checked where they where they were made, and these are kind of older models, right? Yeah. While the fusions are the newer yeah. models, and the factory in the country of production is different. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about that. So what happened? Um, what happened? What happened? Um, we wanted to kind of step up the game and like make better guitars mm -hmm. and therefore it's kind of like in evolved and um, these are made in Vietnam, this one and the and fusions, this one too, yeah. fusions are made in Indonesia and um, they are a little more pricey the fusions but it doesn't necessarily mean that these are bad instruments I mean you just heard it and they sound great and yeah, um, yeah it's just like evolving with new models we always we kind of like try new factories and see mm. what they can do for us and Best one gets a job. But these guitars are gonna stay at. Uh, they they will still be coming from that factory in Vietnam, right? So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Um, wanna hear it? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the same amp, I assume. Um, <laughs> you, you like that one, don't you? Yeah. Um, I. I are like you a Marshall that. guy? Yeah. Pretty much. I grew up with it, so it's. I just like it. The bite oh, and right. this. Uh, a little faster guitar in a way, like the attack is even a little faster. And the neck pickup is actually located a little further to the bridge, like for yeah. instance on that one, and therefore you get more bite out of that one because as well. Because it has 24 frets. Yeah. This one only has 22. Exactly. You can hear it. It's got more bite to it than that one. Even more bite. Almost sounds not like the guitar I'm holding. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's somewhere in the middle. Let's let's swap amps and see how it's doing with blues? through the blue space for yeah, example. Sure. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's number three, I believe. Okay. Nice. 
nice. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool guitar. It's different than that. It's, it can deliver the rock, but it's a little more versatile, in my opinion. All right. So what is this one? That's another one of my <laughs> favorites. Okay, where can I put the other one? Uh, uh, just hand it over. Here we go. Um, that's the... S oh, wait a sec. I'll give it to my crew. They'll put it in my car. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the SC Junior, and they are very popular. Of course, we have it in a DC double cut Junior, and for those of you who don't know, um, there will be some new Junior models this year. I think I've heard about it. Yeah, have I? You might have heard about it, um, and I might actually. You might have sent me a picture of it. Yeah, and I might actually <laughs> tease you guys a little more on Instagram with some pictures of them. We got new colors, and but I'm not going to say more. All right. Stay tuned. He'll tell me behind the scenes, <laughs> yeah, off camera. And, and yeah. This, this one is made in Indonesia. Yeah. So this is very close to that shape, but different factories. Uh, yeah. What was the reason for that? We were, why don't why not go and why not go for the same factory? Yeah, because sometimes it has a, a lot to do with capacity. Ah, okay. So, so they were full. Yeah, kinda, and um, we actually were very very happy with that the way the fusions turned out. So fusions are awesome. I mean, uh, that's my favorite guitar. So we thought, yeah, okay, let's let's try it there, and and here she is. Yeah, mahogany body, neck, Chitoba fretboard, and one pickup. I've checked uh, this one against the 550, and I noticed that 550 doesn't have the volute, while this one has. Yeah. That's another improvement, I assume. Of course it is. I mean, just like in case it <laughs> might drop... <laughs> Somebody you, you dro drops it off the roof or something. <laughs> I mean, like for instance, I'm like the typical... I forget the guitar stand at the gig. Okay. So most of the time for me it's like I lean it against an amp, yeah. and yeah, of course it's not the way you do it. But that's how we do it at the gig if you don't have a stand. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but much. luckily, nothing happened yet. So, um, what guitars do you usually play? Oh, I'm, I'm a big, as you yeah, yeah. heard. I like that kind of '70s rock sound. So, so it has to be something like the, yeah. I actually, I have one of these, and um, I really dig it. It's it's a cool guitar, even though it just won't pick up. Yeah, exactly. No, not only because, but because it has one pickup for me. Okay, so the um, simpler the better. Actually, yeah. Um, I will give it a ride. Right. Uh, the Emma hat or the blue space? <laughs> so which one first? Okay, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, of course you knew. Um, yeah, let's hear it. It's really bitey and bright. Yeah, it's bitey and bright. Single coil, so... There you go, it's, it's brighty and bright. Maybe tune it. Yeah, for some reason, um, like the single coil is like a very transparent pickup. So you get a lot of touch sensitivity out of it. Do you know that we have a pickup guru here at the event at Muslabor? I do. He can tell you everything about single coils and why they are this bitey and bright. <laughs> and he probably will have to because I'm gonna like force him <laughs> to tell me all about it. <laughs> um, I'm talking about forking pickups. Yep. Uh, you can see the whole range of pickups right there on the wall. If you could give me that on the right or left cameras real quick. Yeah, right there behind behind Benedict, you'll see there uh, many different pickups, many different different colorful pickups. Yeah, and this come from Ilya. From forking pickups, uh, I've just checked some of those in my other video, uh, but it's in Russian. I'm sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, I'll give you a quick look at uh, his magic guitar with uh, char uh, rechargeable, no, interchangeable pickups, and uh, give you a quick look at that. All right, uh, let's yeah. please continue. <laughs> I will. <laughs>
I know what you meant. Okay, so even though it has only one pickup, it still it still is very versatile. Yeah. You can roll down the volume and have nice and clean, yeah. and then you go up with the volume and it's kind of dirty and fast. Exactly, and you're actually forced to think about where you pick because that does make a big difference as well, of course. If you pick it like that, it almost sounds like, like yeah. a cock wah wah. Yeah. And if you like pick it normally, it's it's fun to play. Very expressive. All right. You want to hear it through another amp or? Um, let me try that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> same amp. Other yeah, amp. Sa same amp. I mean, I'm good with that. Uh, when you did that, uh, it kind of felt natural. Let let me let me try something like that too, so I can try to go. Well, I'm, you know, I. I'm thinking, okay, I want to have some clean sound, so immediately I think, okay, I need a neck pickup, so where is it? Uh, um, not in here. Okay, so I'll just try to roll down the wall and see what happens. Yeah. Sometimes I don't, I don't even need to do that, I can just... Just by picking you can actually go from crystal yeah. clear to crunch. It's like, this guitar on this amp works so well together, it's like... It's fun. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, I guess if you want to know more about these guitars, uh, check Harley Benton channel, right? Yeah, Harley Benton, Facebook, Instagram, and of course on your website, harleybenton.com. They will find all the info on all of our guitars, of course, all the new models that will come. And for all the guys who are waiting for the Headless, we do have a big section there. So if you haven't been there, go to harleybenton.com. Isn't it still a secret? No, everybody knows that the Headless is coming. All right. <laughs> everybody here at Muslimur. Or everybody, everybody else. Knows. All right. Yeah. So everybody knows. Actually, we shown them at the TGU last year, 2019, oh. and so everybody knows it. And I wasn't there. People so, are so waiting. I missed everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, of course, I'll give you links to these guitars in the description below. And even if you don't need these guitars, please check those links because every time somebody clicks on that, that supports my channel and makes me very happy. Um, other than that, thanks for joining us today. I'm very happy. I guess. Uh, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Till then, bye.